Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to art time, I guess. Uh, I'd like to first acknowledge that the land I am on is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Anishinaabe, Metis, and Ochiti Sequin, and its treaty to land. Okay, so my name is Tara, by the way. I work at the Dauphin Public Library, part of the Parkland Regional Library System. And for today, we are going to try some string art. I've always wanted to do it, so we are trying it. Now, I've experimented a little bit and had some failures, and I think I've got things figured out possibly a little bit better. So here was my first attempt. That didn't go so well. Um, then... I tried again, once again, didn't go so well. Third time though, it went slightly better. And then fourth time on the back of my first try, I think, I think I finally got it. So I think the key is, so this was first try, the string was very saturated and I didn't squeeze it out. So this kind of squeezed it out. This was the second try. I didn't add any more paint to it. And then this was the third try with the same one without squeezing any more out of it. So the key is to get the string very well covered, but squeeze out the paint so that there isn't huge globs of it to make a mess like that. Okay, so I am using acrylic because that's what I've got at home. I think you can probably use just about anything. I've seen videos where they used um, liquid watercolor. I've seen videos where they use alcohol inks. Um, ones where they use tempera paint. Now this is going to be fairly messy. You want to make sure you are not wearing your best clothes because it splashes. Um, so you need to cover your surfaces. I've got a painting area in my house where I can get things messy. Um, so you are going to need string. So I've got some yarn is one of mine. Um, I also thought I'd see I've got some embroidery floss. So that's a thinner one. And I also thought I might experiment with dental floss and see how that goes. So you need paints or inks. Um, if you're using ink, that's going to be a lot messier and probably stain your hands a lot more. The other key is that you need some kind of book to put on top while you pull. So I used this old notebook of mine because it's a really shiny surface and I can wipe it off. But if you have a book that you don't, that isn't really important. The other thing you can do is take your sheet, fold it in half, put it inside. But once again, it's gotta be a book that you aren't really in love with because it is going to get covered in paint. Um, I thought I might also use my Wreck This Journal because the whole point of it is to get it messy and wreck it. So that might also work if you have something like that, but something, something that you can put on top, definitely no library books, and get paint on and not have to worry about it. Okay, so I've, I think I'm going to, I've mixed up, I made myself a green and I've got a yellow, I think. I'm going to play with the green right now, grab some yarn of mine. I've also seen this done with um, like chain from a 
bathtub, which makes a, a different pattern and is quite cool. So I don't know if you can see. I'm just using the paintbrush to kind of smush it down in there and get it covered in paint. Because also the first time I tried this, I, I didn't get the the string totally covered in paint and so there were a lot of blank spots as it twisted and turned so I think I threw out that first one entirely um, it wasn't even worth keeping so make sure you get it nice and soaked. So another thing you're going to need is either um, a sink nearby to wash up in between while you're doing stuff or some cloths to wipe your hands off and wipe things down because this it really is a messy thing. I think I've got enough of the string. You want to leave some of it without paint on it. Okay, and now we're going to squeeze, squeeze the paint out. I don't know if you can see. Oh, and I probably should not be laying down on the paper that I'm going to use. Okay, there we go. So this is why you could probably use, so I've got a cloth that is fine if I get some paint on. You probably, you might have something like that at home, but you might not, paper towel, whatever works, or run into the sink. Okay. And on this piece of paper, the other pieces of paper I used were art paper. This one I am trying it on just plain old computer paper. And now you can do it in any pattern you like, but I really, I kind of really like this swirly one like this. Okay. Now, get your book or another piece of paper so that you maybe don't get your book as messed up. Put it down the top. I want to do a little press so that it gets the first imprint good. Okay, now hold it and start pulling. We'll see how this goes. Okay. I'm just going to put my string back in the green and see. Okay. So I like how it turned out, except with regular computer paper. I maybe was pressing down too hard or just the amount of paint it wore right through. Okay, so good lesson to know. Um, I'm going to keep using this one. Now I'm going to quickly, <laughs> once again, because it's a shiny surface, I can just wipe that paint off and it's really easy to do on mine. Um, but maybe you have an old school notebook that you're done with the inside of it and you can press it between the pages. I'm gonna keep using this sheet and I'm going to maybe use the embroidery in the yellow and see what happens. Okay, let's see. I think
think we're going to have to squeeze this one out really good because it's getting coated really nicely. Oh, I gave us lots of string for this one. I didn't realize how much string I cut. So, and you can cut your string to any length that works for you. So, just going to squeeze the extra out. And we'll see how this goes. I haven't used this yet, so I really have no idea. Wipe my hands off a little bit. So, I'm curious. I'm gonna go there, there, there. And I'm gonna put it a little off to the side because I don't wanna go right over where I've already ripped it. Oops, I had a little on my hand. Okay, gonna put this on top. It's maybe a little wet. Okay, let's see what happens. So if you have cardstock at home, for your computer printer or something a little thicker than computer paper might work better for you. I forgot to press down nicely in one spot. We will see. Okay. Can you see that? Okay, I wonder if we could have you left a little more paint on this one. I don't know. I think I like the yarn better than I like the embroidery floss. But I'm gonna just put that back in. Okay, now, what happens if we use dental floss? Now I've got some silver in here, which I've put into a container that had, has stained the container. It, um, it has ink that was used in it before. So, um, and I see that I couldn't wash it out, but I see that the paint, the acrylic paint seems to be getting it to run. So there's a little extra color in there other than silver happening. Okay, so let's see. I'm good at making messes, so. Okay, I think maybe with the dental floss, I won't, because it's plastic, right? The dental floss, this, this dental floss that I got from the dentist's office that comes when you go get your teeth cleaned um, is plastic. So I don't think I'm gonna scrape any of it off because otherwise I won't have any paint left on it. Okay, this one, let's see. Let's just wonder what happens if I just do, do you think? Let's see, let's see what happens. Oh, I forgot to wipe off the back of my book. That's all right. <laughs> now I've got silver on the front side. Okay, let's see what happens. I didn't lay this one down as nicely, but I'm curious. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, it's kind of interesting. Hmm, okay. So, 
Um, you can create just about anything, I think, any design you want. Let's just throw another piece of computer paper on here real quick. And I'll maybe do something a little different this time. Get the green all in there. Get it all done up. Okay. I've got silver still on my fingers, but that's all right. Whoops. Okay, get that all off. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do, I don't know, maybe some swirls. Let's see what happens with that. Okay. Um, I'm just going to leave the yellow and the silver on there and just see what happens. Okay. Now, I keep forgetting to press that down so that initial bit gets a good impression. And now let's see what happens here. So my art challenge this week for you is do some string art and show me what you, oh, I like that one. Okay, I like that one. And this is just on computer paper and I managed not to rip it, so that's good. Show me what you can create with your string art. I would love to see what you can do and and I think you can basically use any kind of paints you've got at home uh, to make just about whatever pattern you want so there we go okay I can't wait to see what you guys create. Make sure you share them with me. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.